Hello everyone, Ryan here. All in the Mind by Gene L. Henderson. It's a short story that I recently read. I was able to download it for free from an app, which I believe the app is just titled Free Books. So they have various free books and audio books. Uh, Most of which are, well, in fact, I think they're all classics. So, this one that I read, All in the Mind, it focuses on two characters, uh, Neil and Mel, and they're both scientists of some kind. Uh, It's never actually revealed exactly what kind of scientists, or even if they actually are scientists I mean they're they're either scientists or science enthusiasts I guess but either way they experiment on brains and I guess more accurately brain tissue Um, but in an effort to see I guess, well, just, I guess just to understand the human brain a lot better. And eventually they get to a point where I guess they've experimented on enough animals that if they want to continue to receive funding for their experiments, they need to start, start experimenting on a human brain. So... You know, and both Neil and, and Mel, they have disagreements because Neil wants to just start right away, use whatever human brain is available available to them, while Mel is reluctant because he believes that they have to have, you know, some kind of vetting process and that, you know, they, have, they can't just experiment on just any human brain. So they have a disagreement. Uh... Next thing you know, uh, Mel is knocked unconscious. And when he comes to, he finds that he no longer has a body. (laughs) In other words, uh, Neil had uh, knocked him out and completely removed his brain from his body and put the brain in this jar with liquid, of course, and hooked it to all these electrodes and wires and whatnot. And so Mel becomes the human brain that is experimented on. And so, I mean, without giving away too many more details, I mean, eventually uh, Mel figures out how to access, you know, the unused portions of his brain and he develops uh, I guess you could say telekinesis in which he's able to move objects around and move objects you know just by willing them to move and he practices that ability enough times that he he gets pretty good at it (laughs) So, and eventually, um, eventually Neil catches on. He realizes that Mel's brain has become pretty powerful. And, of course, you know, they're still having disagreements. And I don't want to give away the ending, but uh, I'll just say there is a struggle between them and... um, and then it it all it kind of ends abruptly, but I guess you know it since it it's a short story, so yeah. Unfortunately, there's not much more after the after the ending because I mean, for me, I felt like the ending it just you know it's not really like a twist ending and it's not necessarily a cliffhanger, but you know it just kind of ends and. I mean, it left me wondering, you know, well, what comes next? What happens next? 
But uh, it's definitely very interesting. And I wish, I do wish it was a little longer. So, and overall, of course, I give it four out of five stars. If it was longer, then I probably would have given it five stars. But yeah, it's a short short story. So, <laughs> was it pretty much? I mean, I don't know what to expect for it, expect from it. So I guess I didn't have really any expectations. I was, you know, I just decided to read it because it was free. So, <laughs> but it is interesting, worth checking out. Uh, I do recommend uh, checking it out, giving it a read at least once. And I mean, hey, it's free, so the price is right. So, <laughs> so that'll do it for this review. Uh, once again. I give it four out of five stars. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. As always, till next time, don't forget, keep it real, keep on rocking in. Peace.